my family, you know, we've been a part of this community for a long time and you know, born and raised not too far from here either. So uh, to say that I ever dreamed this would be uh, something that I would be inducted into uh, would be false. You know, uh, all the people that I'm coming in with have had pretty phenomenal careers in their respective fields. So uh, to be acknowledged with such an amazing class is quite humbling. And I kind of want to do this chronologically, cause, so we'll start back to your Nebraska days. Um, you have like a list of accomplishments just from that time alone. What do you take away from your collegiate days? Um, the, it's more important to play for the name on the side of your helmet than the one that's on your back. Um, that was instilled, you know, it was instilled before I got to, to college. I was instilled at Webb City. Um, but really it was hammered home there. And a team that goes out there and plays for each other uh, is going to be a lot better than a group of individuals out there. So um, I took that with me all along the way. I never played for me. I was played for the guys lining up next to me. And what did it mean to you to be drafted by a team that was only a few hours away from you? Well, at the time, I wasn't very happy about it. They, uh, When I got drafted, they were the losingest team in the previous decade. So um, my first year in the NFL, I lost more football games than I had in college and high school, probably even in junior high combined. So that was an eye-opening experience. And um, you know, I didn't help with our win-loss record. I wasn't a very good professional my rookie year, but I really refocused the second year. And, you know, Kurt Warner comes out of nowhere, and they trade for Moss for Falk, and you're part of the greatest show on turf. So, um, you know, after, at the second year you win a Super Bowl, you think it's going to happen every year, but obviously that's not the case. Yeah, I want to touch on that as well. Winning a Super Bowl, uh, did you think it really couldn't get any better than that after that win? Oh, uh, the only one that's the only thing that's better than one Super Bowl is two, and uh, you know, unfortunately, I never got to do that. I got to play in a couple more, but never won another one. Um, and, and as amazing as it is to lose a Super Bowl, or excuse me, win a Super Bowl, losing one um, is just completely on the opposite end of the spectrum. Um, one of the most devastating things uh, I've ever been a part of, and you know, I don't take losing well. And, you know, you work so hard to, to get there. And when you fall just short, which both games, you know, I felt like we still had, that I lost. I still felt like we had a chance to win. Um, and then, you know, when you go back into next season, it doesn't matter at all. You're wiped out. You're back, everybody's back at zero. So all the hard work you put in before doesn't matter the next year. So, you know, to me, it was kind of and still does feel like it was all for naught in the games that we lost because the only thing that matters is, you know, being the champion. And uh, you spent time with the Rams and the Seahawks. So what did you learn from both of those teams? Um, you know, it was two different times in my career. Uh, you know, I was with the Rams. I was a young man on my own. and um, It was more for me about being with the team uh, and playing with the team on the field and off the field. And we had a lot of fun off the field, too. And when I went out to Seattle, my wife and I were together at that point. We had our first child out there. So it was definitely a shift in mentality and more than you know, I had to find a different motivating factor. And at that point, it came from, you know, obviously still playing for my teammates, but I'm out there playing for my family as well. I mean, obviously you have all these different experiences, whether it was from your high school days at Web City to uh, at the NFL level. So what is your fondest memory? You know, there's each place, each stop along the way was rewarding in its own right. You know, in high school, it's you're playing for your town and getting to play in Webb City where you know, at the time the town was about 7,500 people, but we would have 10,000 people at a football game. So just seeing the community come out and support that and getting to play for those people and those fans, it was amazing there. Um, getting to play in front of the best fans in the country and being a part of a football dynasty at the time at Nebraska and uh, to being a big part of that, um, you know, I'll carry that with me forever and you know being a part of the black shirt tradition on defense and you know, I'm as much a black shirt as I am a Wistrom so that was amazing and then winning a Super Bowl you know on the on a world stage and getting to be a part of a parade and celebrating with 300,000 fans in downtown St. Louis um you know there's special memories each stop along the way and, and none more valuable than any of the others um and just once again just the career that I had and the, the teams that I got to play with and the coaches that I got to play for um, I couldn't have written a better story. Um, there's, and it's just weird how things line up, and there are no coincidences. And, um, and it just set me up, you know, with my life and my family that I have now, and the things that I've been able to do and help people out. Um, you know, I, like I said, I couldn't have written a better story. You've earned many titles in your time. How does uh, joining the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame differentiate from the rest? Um, it, to be acknowledged at a local level um, in front of people that, you know, 
Ned and Scott and those guys covered me in high school, and then they covered me in college, you know, and I'd talk to them after games in Nebraska and after, you know, Super Bowl wins and losses. And so these guys have been a part of my journey all along the way, and, and I know that Scott was a big part of me getting into the uh, Springfield Hall of Fame, and I really appreciate that. Um, so to be acknowledged in front of the people that have known me since, you know, I wasn't anybody, uh, and to be acknowledged by them is like, once again, it's, you know, I've been inducted to a few different Hall of Fames, and each one of them has their significance to them, but none of them are any more important than the other.